Oh, hello everybody, and welcome back to the English Amish Hitman. Um, today I'm doing a little project, and this is for Katie Nicole. I had bought her a iPhone 7 Plus Oreo um, cookie case thing. It was a little simple thing. Unfortunately, the seller never sent it and stuff, and so I had promised her that I would do this, um, and yeah, so I'm going to make it myself. It's slightly more expensive, but this is going to be a one-of-a-kind um, iPhone case for Katie. If I remember right, she wanted an otter box. Surprisingly, this was, um, the seller said it was used, said it had scuff marks and stuff on it, but it looks absolutely brand new to me. And I was trying to figure out how to open this, but it's not that hard, surprisingly. So, my plan is... To take um, this half off in the shot there, and then probably take this blue one, use this glue here. I think it's still usable. This is the stuff that I use to put my headliner in on my car. So I'm going to spray a little bit and put it there for it to stick there. I wish it was slightly bigger, but it's not. But at least it's flat, or slightly below flat. And then after that's done, I'm going to take this syringe. It's an old syringe. Well, not used, but old stock. It's been sitting around. And I'm going to be using Oreo cookie um, oil. It, it's for a, uh, like, candle warmer type things. And I was so shocked that this actually existed. At first I thought uh, one ounce was too little. This is a two ounce bottle. So my plan is to inject it into the diffuser and have enough of it in there, but not enough that it's going to leak and stuff. And then, after that, but probably before that, I'll, I'll do the steps through, if anybody wants to try to follow and do their own. And, um, I'm going to have to mark out where this goes and stuff, because this glue is so sticky, and it bonds to anything very good. It's, it reminds me of a super glue, but it's sprayable. And then, after all that's done, I'm going to put this on here, kind of like this. And then right here, behind that, yeah, right there, is the diffuser. And so, I'm going to most likely put like probably three or four holes in there with this needle. So, the Oreo cookie oil... Oops. will come out and you, you can smell it and I know Katie absolutely loves Oreos and this is from I don't know if you can get these anymore um, they're the Oreo chocolate candy bar the chocolate is just so amazing and it's from Milka I think it's European um, chocolate but, yeah. So, my first step, <clears throat> it's sticking on there by static electricity. And to top it off, I don't know how well the camera can pick this up, but it's a K charm. It was the only one that I could find on there. And it's for the, the ear... 
piercing, wherever it's at. I, I'm, I've only got to hell hold an iPhone like once or twice. But yeah, that this can go into the um, ear phones microphone thing and it just uh, does cover I thought this would be a nice little um, addition to it just to like round it off I did try to find a little bunny but they were a bit expensive so I just went with this it, I hope she, she likes this and yeah Anyways, let's get started. I'll come back when I um, have this apart. Part. When I first was looking at this, I don't know if all cases like are like this. If there's a the plastic piece there that shows like the Apple symbol on it. But when I got this, I was like, okay, it's one piece there, technically two pieces, I thought. And actually it's not, so my first step, what I'm going to do is glue the diffuser onto there, try to center it, and then set this to the side. I'll be back when I, I get the can all ready and stuff. Alright guys. Uh, I'm going to try this without gloves. I mean this stuff gets super, super sticky. So if you get like high, high temp adhesive bond, this was like a $20 can. I had to use two because I don't know what I was doing. But I got this idea from when those Nokia 5180s, I mean, everybody had them. If, if you're like my age, maybe a little bit younger, um, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, those cell phones that everybody had. And you could get all kinds of cases. Well, over at, um, what was that store? Debs or Forever, no it wasn't Forever 21, I think it was Debs or something, it no longer exists in the Columbia Mall. But they had a cell phone case there, it never sold. And I think it was like 25 cents, maybe upwards of a dollar, and it originally had been like 30. And it smelled like chocolate. Uh, on the part where you put it up to your um, ear, unfortunately today it no longer smells like chocolate. But the little rubber piece, which I also thought about soaking this, which I don't know if this is permeable, but um, it had chocolate, and my friends were amazed. They, they just kept sniffing it and stuff, and it, it, the, that was the only piece on it. The rest of it had said something about, like, chocolate bar or something, but it was the, the neatest thing. No one else in that school had that, which I really liked. Anyways... Trying to stay away from, I don't know if it's on camera, but there's a glue spot down there where I tried it. But what I'm going to do, which it doesn't seem that there's one side or the other, I'm going to put some glue on here. it with the glue on it and try to center it on there hold it for a couple seconds as far as I know that this is literally going to stick there forever and now 
It's on there. It might take like 24 hours for it to dry, but it is on there. Um, let's see. Okay, it doesn't say. But, um, next up, you know, bring you guys back after I, um, measure it and stuff with the case. Now, I took it, the, the rubber part, and stuck it on there, and so it doesn't fall off, or it didn't move, so I could get in the right spot after I put the glue on there. Um, I took a black permanent marker and drew the outline of it which you have here so it's halfway it, it, it's basically perfectly um, centered and so all, all this will go away and so I'll I'll glue this to here and then um, Oh, I'll make a little window here and then just tuck that back in there with some glue. And then down here I'll, I'll finagle it as well and with um, some other spots as well. Alright, I'll be back. Well, no, I'm, I'm going to try to do it here. I hope I have enough. Now I'm going to try to center this on here while the glue is still wet. guys it, it's in there the best as I could I mean it's there's some wrinkly stuff in there maybe I can get that out I I don't know but I'm doing my best here I like doing projects for people and again this is my first time doing it this probably was not the right clue to do it with but it's all I had on hand so, um, my next thing I'm going to do is make slits in this and then push it back to the hole so the camera and the light can go through. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's do that. My trusty old Krager, Krager knife that I like using. So I'm gonna try to do it in the center. I hope it doesn't mess up. Okay, what it's looking like now. So this is what it looks like guys. Um, I, I trimmed up where the, I don't know if that's like the plug to charge it, I'm pretty sure this one is too. Maybe that's just a docking part. Um, the camera and flashlight goes there. I tried my very best on this and I need to go back and clean it up. It, it's slightly sticky. I had to go get this. Um, Adhesive remover wipes. These, I love these things. They're so awesome. 
um, and I just kept on going through gluing little places and then coming back clearing it up and taking off pieces that doesn't belong so it it's still functional you can do the volume button or whatever these things are um, I guess the microphone um, headset earbud things go there um, on off I guess and I think that may be it for this I'm not 100% sure but as you can see that is still there so that will cover up the um, the the Apple logo and yeah that's basically what it will look like like I said I tried my very best on this um, I just hope she likes it and I, if I had to redo it again I would have chose a different glue because you don't have much time to work with this glue but what I'm going to do now is if I clean up here a little bit um, is there's the back of the phone case to protect it. It's got a little foam thing in there. And this is where the phone will sit. So I'm gonna now take the diffuser. It, it's glued on there. It, it's not coming off now. And oh, my hands are slippery. But yeah, I, I glued it to this little window thing. What I had on plan doing is cutting out a piece of round plastic and gluing it this way on this side but I think it will do much better this way and sticking the fuser on this side and then poking holes or more likely drilling holes on this side so it will come out but this way it's better protected I think so I'm going to take the syringe it's time for your medicine. <laughs> so, I have the oil in here. This thing, this stuff is super thick. So, I sucked it up. I have three cc's. That may be too much to put in there or whatever. And I'll be sending this to Katie as leftover because I, I don't need it. And she might be able to use it. But... There goes nothing. No. I'm just dropping it on top. I mean, I want enough, but I don't want too much. And, and the weird thing is, at least for me, when I get this cookie, Oreo cookie oil on my hands, I don't know if it's reacting to my skin or the temperature of it. It, it smells like an old musty attic or, or something. It It's strange, but by itself, it, it just smells like Oreo cookie, but I got some in my hand right here. And it, it just, I, I don't get it. Unless it's just a chemical chemical reaction. So. The only thing I'm kind of worried. Is if. The oil. <laughs> is going to leak out if I have too much or too little and it looks like half a cc actually just roughly half a cc fits on here I think I'm going to like overdo it until it oozes out or almost oozes out I'm going to see if it will like dry overnight. 
um, and come back to it. But at least this way, when I put the this back on here, and if she wants to refill it, she just has to take off the phone. She doesn't necessarily have to um, go through one of the holes because I just thought of this if she accidentally pokes it in there or a new hole then it could rip it or something so I'm gonna find my smallest drill bit and put little little tiny holes in it so yeah I'll come back after I'm done with this and show you what it looks like so yeah roughly a half a cc actually is on there so I got way way too much I, I had no idea I'm not good at measurement I, I wish it was kind of stronger but then again I might come back and uh, it, it, the diffuser is kind of centered in there. I'm going to come back, see if it is dry tomorrow. I'm not going to touch this with my hands because it, my my um, heat and or skin could contaminate it and turn it that awful weird like musty type smell. But yeah. Right now it's smelling good, but it, it's not as powerful. I wish it was more powerful. But yeah. Hopefully I, I can, this dries out and I can just soak it like crazy. But yeah. Um. What am I going to do? Um, I'm going to. Clear this up slightly and I'm gonna put it together to show what the finishing product is gonna look like so you just snap the front and back holder part together and that oil is everywhere Yeah, just snap it back into place and that's what it looks like without it you it once the phone's there you won't be able to see it I thought about doing it here but mm, I don't think so but yeah that's where you oh that's like a huh that's interesting but yeah it, it's all snapped back together so you take the rubber piece and then you just like do it back like you did when you took it apart it's slightly more tighter than it was I'm not sure why but yeah, you just finagle it back onto the plastic cover. Yeah, like I said, I need to clean up some of the residue of the glue but yeah this is what it's gonna look like the her phone's gonna sit in there and then the back of it is gonna look like this it's still functional with the camera and light like I said and then you have the I guess it's power on and off or whatever I'm not 100% sure um, and then you got the volume buttons there or whatever and then you got the uh, um, earbuds thing 
and then down here I guess you can put it in the cradle or you charge it from the port right there so that's pretty much it for now I'll um, there might be a, another part to this video but well there, there will be the little things in the the, the holes right there but uh, in the morning I'm gonna come back and see if I can put some more oil on the diffuser to soak it up more and stuff but yeah as of right now that this is pretty much the finished product um, I am really debating whether or not to put it some on here but I would have to I don't have painters tape at least I don't think I do but yeah th this is a phone that she'll receive in the box and where is it gonna go so yeah so in the box I could well it, it probably goes the other way for sure but in the box it's gonna look like that It's rare I, I get to do projects like this, but I, I just hope she'll like it and stuff. I'll probably post this video after she receives it. So as to not like alert her kind of thing, to have, be of more of a surprise to her. But I think this really will work. I still don't know about that oil. That oil is really finicky, at least for me. It, if it's still like that, I I don't know. Um, if I ever get a chance to do this again, I will definitely do a different type of thing than this. I'm not trying to down the Virginia Candle Supply Company by any means. But, I, I don't know if it's just me and my body chemistry that's reacting to it and making it the, the weird, musty smell. But, um, it, it was a very decent price for that. All, all of this was a very decent price. But, in this case, it doesn't matter how much money it costs. It like I, I did for her um, acrylic nameplate just the absolute seeing her reaction to something so simple as the acrylic nameplate just made me happy and, and warm in my heart to, to give someone so much joy out of something so little and and that's what I'm hoping to do with this as well. I, I've I've done that over the years with helping people with certain stuff and they don't know what's coming and they their reaction and I, I even had my bestie she as a child she had lost um in a move or something or she had to leave it a Digimon on a skateboard. I don't remember what it was. But she could never find it with the skateboard. Well, someone in Canada had it for sale. I don't remember what it was, but it had the skateboard. It was in the package. I bought it. And when she received it, she was so, so happy she cried. And I also cried with her. And I just love it when I can make someone's day and make someone happy. 
that that's what I always love to do is is try to make people happy. But with anything I can do. But she still has it in the the original packaging. She's like, I'm not removing this. But it, it was just so cool to see my bestie so happy. And it, and it's just not just her. Literally over the years, I've made people happy. Maybe not to the point of crying, but just just the smile on their face. It's just so satisfying to see that reaction. Anyways, guys, um, like I said, there's going to be uh, another part to this after this, and you'll see it in a second. So, all right, guys. All right, guys, this is the second half of the video. I tried to do it this morning, but I woke up late, and things happened. But, um, it's complete. Um, what I had done is overnight I thought I would put more, um, Oreo cookie oil, that's what this is, on the diffuser. Unfortunately, it did not dry out. So, th there were two downsides to this project that I would, three, three downsides and I would do it over again is one have an exacto knife two I'm gonna try to find or I would try to find something else that um, was more potent potent than this stuff it's not really potent um, you have to get up close and smell it actually smell the smell and for some reason at least with me like I said earlier when this stuff actually went in contact, even though it says it's skin safe, I don't know if because the chemicals in it actually, um, with the heat maybe, or my body chemistry, um, it, it just, like I said, it just changed it to that odd musty smell, like, like in a basement or attic or something. So, that was a no-go to put more in here. And I don't know how long this lasts. This is supposed to be put on, um, you're either supposed to burn it or, or warm it up gently on something. I, I'm not sure how it works. This first time, I mean, actually using this, that's why I went with this product. It was the first thing that came up. I didn't do much research on this. I just had a thought in my head. I thought it would work, but not really. Um... The third thing that I would do differently, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there is some bubbles in here. And the glue I use, don't get me wrong, this stuff is great, absolutely great to bond um, headliners and stuff to your, your vehicle and probably some other things. But for this project, yes, it did bond it really good. And, when it cured but it you, you have like six minutes no correction you have two roughly two minutes to make both sides uh, tacky and then stick it on there that's not enough time to like smooth it out and stuff at least not with this type of material so I would try to find some other glue that takes like 24 or 48 hours to harden or cure I should say then this quick stuff because you, you get bubbles and then uh, I tried to shift it around and that's why one end had a little bit more on it than the other but it worked out in the end but yeah that's, that's three things I would change use an exacto use something else in the Oreo oil because it, the scent's not powerful enough and it, it did not absorb or dry out more. And there's that phone. But, um, and then the glue. That's the only three things you can change. Um, you can do this yourself if you want. This is pretty much like a how to kind of thing. I just glued it on and followed it, whatever. 
and so and it's really easy to take off you just put like your fingernail back behind it and then you just pull on it and it it comes right off you just keep feeding it around and then there you go there there's the diffuser it's still stuck in there and then there's that so you'll you'll be receiving the phone case Katie in the original box here along with a syringe full of the Oreo oil that at any time if it the smell deteriorates you can just put a little bit on there and it should make it better and I'll be sending you this two ounce bottle it's probably like 1.9 ounce now or something with this because I have no need for this anymore and I'm sending you this little uh, initial charm just to round out the um, customization of the case um, anyways that's everything I hope you like this Katie I tried my best on it and that's that's it all right guys signing off I love you all thanks for supporting me and that's about it see you guys next time